Hi! I've been wanting to do a tag video for a little while now, and I found one today that piqued my interest, so I decided I wanted to do it. This one is the beauty tag questions, and it's pretty long, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First one is, how many times do you wash your face daily? I wash my face in the morning and night, so twice. What type of skin do you have? I have combination. What is your current face wash? What brand do you use? I have two different face washes that I use. The first one is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. And the second one is Purifying Facial Cleanser. I'll use one of them in the morning, one of them at night, and I'll just change it out like that. Uh, let's see. Is it important to moisturize? Of course it is. How often do you moisturize your face? I moisturize in the morning and at night. What moisturizer do you use? And do you use sunscreen? Yes, I use sunscreen. My daily moisturizer, which is the Exuvian's Essential Daily Defense Fluid, has SPF 15 in it. And then my nighttime moisturizer is the Philosophy Hope in a Jar. It's oil-free and it also has salicylic acid in it. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite skincare line? It's probably Exuvians or Philosophy just because I really like skincare brands that are based in science. And I really enjoy that. Uh, do you have freckles? No, not really. I have moles, but no freckles. Do you spray water on your face during the summer? I'm, I'm assuming that's like the Evian spray bottles but no I don't do that what do you use cleansing your face I answered that already um what why do you think we should take care of our skin because it's your skin it's I mean why wouldn't you you don't want to look super old when you're 40 years old you want don't want to look like a handbag I guess is what I'm getting at okay one skincare routine that is a must for you I absolutely have to have to have to wash my face at night so I'll use one of my two moisturizers and then I'll go in with my Exuviance Vespera Bionic Serum underneath my eyes and then on top of that I'll use one of my eye creams I have a couple that I kind of alternate between one is the Corez Cusertin and Oak Anti-Aging Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream and then another one I have is, this is a little sample size, but it's the Philosophy Miracle Worker Mir Miraculous Anti-Aging Eye Cream. That has retinol in it, so that's one that I have to be kind of careful with because it does kind of irritate my eyes a little bit. But one that I typically do use on most nights is my Exuviance Hydrating Eye Complex, and it just looks like that. And then I'll just go on top of that with one of my moisturizers, or I'm sorry, not one, but my Philosophy Hope in a Jar Oil-Free. Um, okay. What foundation do you use? I don't really use foundation. I mean, if I do use anything, it'll be my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. And I'm, I wear regular. That's my color. And I just, I really like this stuff. It's, it starts off as a liquid and then they bake it in these terracotta pans at, for 24 hours and it becomes a powder and there's green and yellow so it neutralizes it counteracts redness it's really good what about concealer the concealer that I use is the Laura Geller the real deal concealer and that's actually typically what I'll wear during the day I'll wear my Laura Geller concealer like underneath my eyes or on my nose and then I will go in with my Tarte smooth operator and it's the Amazonian clay powder and I'll just put that all over my face and let's see do you know your undertone color I am a neutral cool and so that means that I have a lot of yellow undertones in my skin <clears throat> what do you think of fake eyelashes I love fake eyelashes I have a lot of them I don't really oh there's my cat back there <laughs> I don't ever really have occasions to wear them because I am a full-time student but and I, I'm not gonna wear them to school I guess is what I'm getting at because there's really no reason for me to be wearing fake eyelashes in my anatomy lab I guess so I really like them though I do like them I just you know yeah don't see need for me to wear them during the day <laughs> okay let's see did you know you're supposed to change your mascara every three months yes I do know that I don't do that just because well I'll get to that in a second yeah what brand of mascara do you use I have um, two that I use right now and I'm using the benefit they're real and the new Urban Decay one, it's Lush Lash System Mascara Soup or something. It's the newest one in the really pretty purple tube, and I use those two. And that's why I don't really throw my mascaras away every three months, because I do alternate between them. So it takes me a lot longer than three months to...
to get through an entire tube of mascara. The last one that I did get kind of close to on was the L'Oreal Beauty Tubes, and that is a phenomenal mascara, actually. Okay, Sephora or Ulta. I love them both because I think there are things at Sephora that you can't get at Ulta, obviously, and things at Ulta that you can't get at Sephora, so I mean, they're both really great stores. Um, do you have a MAC Pro card? No, I don't. I filled out my application for my Mac Pro student card and I never actually sent it in because I do makeup design up at the university that I go to and so I thought that I needed it for a show and it just kind of got crazy so I just never turned it in. So no, I don't have one. Okay, what makeup to tools do you use in makeup application? I have a couple that I use. I These are both my the only two real technique brushes that I end up liking out of the little pack I got but this is my blush brush and this is actually the contour blush and then this is my powder blush and this is the buffing it's the buffing brush and it's just really nice because I can get just like in between my nose or not in between but I can get like right in that corner of my nose and it just feels really nice and then I have just a crease brush I have my little lash and eyebrow comb. I don't typically use the lash side or well like the little comb side. I just use the brush because I do brush my eyebrows out every single day and I brush them after I every time I get out of the shower. I read that somewhere you can like retrain your eyebrows. If anybody's ever heard of anything like that let me know because I don't want to be making stuff up and be crazy. Um, and then I have a couple of eye brushes. Well, two eye brushes and then a face brush, I guess. Another face one. Oops. I dropped a brush. This is my buffing brush that I'll just use for my eyeshadow. And I mean, it's just... Just a basic buffing brush like that. Oops. I don't know where that, where that went. Okay, and so then I have this one. This I just use for, like, all over eyeshadow if I just want to do all over... And I'm kind of freeballing it right now because I accidentally clicked off of the thing on my phone, so I don't remember what's next, but I'm just going to go with it. Okay, and the next one is the buffing brush. And these, the last three were all bare minerals. And this one I use for underneath my eyes, powder underneath my eyes. For a while I was using the Benefit Powder Flage, but that is ridiculously expensive. It's like $30 for this teeny tiny little jar. And so I don't use that anymore. I'll use my Tarte powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Um, I know that there was a question about liquid or pencil eyeliners. I have both. Most of the time, I'll usually wear, like, my Clinique Cream Shapers in Chocolate Luster. I just use that on my, um, waterline. But, I have really, really been loving these two brands of liquid eyeliners lately. First one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Liner. And I mean, this one, it just has a super, super fine brush. And it's it's just really, really easy to get a really nice flick with this one. It's really nice. The other one that I have been really liking is Stila Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And it just has a really pointed felt tip. And both of these, one thing that I think I read about both of these is that they're both polymer-based. And so... Whenever you take them off, like, basically, you get them wet, and then you just rub it, and they're going to ball up. And this has happened. They just, like, ball up in little bits of plastic, I guess, whenever you're taking it off. Um, I think there was a question on there about a highlighter, because I have a highlighter in my box. And it is, the one that I do use, when I do use a highlighter, is the Revlon Color Stay in Brighton. And, I mean, it's just a baby pink with a white and then like a rose highlighter and I typically don't wear that but but awesome uh, MAC they re-released light skipade and porcelain pink today and me and my friend pretty rainy day were able to get light skipade online so super exciting that is incredibly exciting because I've been wanting that for years now um I know that there was probably a question about eyeshadows because I have eyeshadows in here too. Favorite eyeshadow is Satin Taupe and you can see I've hit pan on it. I love this. I always get compliments whenever I wear it. And I mean, I don't know if you can really see, but it's just a really, really pretty, pretty brown color. Um, it's kind of has like a plummy undertone. It's just really, really nice. And then I really like my Naked palette, specifically 
Naked and Buck, the two matte shadows. I do those in my crease just about every single day just to give a little bit of dimension. Um, let's see, favorite lipstick. Believe it or not, I own one lipstick. And it is, and I mean, it's just so adorable. Look, it has a little sword on it. Can you see that? It's just the Urban Decay lipstick in Wanted. And this is just a really, really sheer berry color. I like it, but I did read somewhere that it tastes like aspirin. And since I got it, I'm like, oh, it does taste kind of like aspirin. Um, the blush that I used, and, uh, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Long Wearing or 12. Yeah, Long Wear Blush. And these last forever. This one just happens to be Blushing Bride. I have the other one in Tipsy. And I just really like those blushes. Um, MAC Pigments. I believe it was like, do you like pigments? Do you believe in pigments? I like pigments a lot. I just have two pigments, personally, for me. And they are Nightlight and Violet. And one is just like a purple. And then the other is a green. I've had these for a really long time. I hope pigments don't go bad. I really couldn't imagine them going bad. But, just anyways... Um, favorite face primer, obviously, because it's just about out. This is just a little sample size, but it's the Laura Geller Spackle. It's an under makeup primer. It just feels really, really nice on underneath my makeup. Um, under eye primers, I'm sorry, eyeshadow primers. My favorite one is actually Benefit Stay Don't Stray, and this is a sample size. And the only reason I, well, not the only, I really do like this, but I will never buy the full size product because... The applicator on the actual size one, it is not this. It's not a doe-footed applicator. It's just a pump, and it's really nasty and messy. And so I just really like the doe-footed applicator on this one. And so I've been using this one for quite a while. But, yeah, I won't buy the full-size product. Um, other one that I've been liking is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And this is another little sample size. By the way, this is one of the colors that I did in my last or my haul video, and it's Butter Toth. And see, it goes on a lot darker, but it is a very pretty color. Um, probably something about this. I don't remember where this really fit in. But it's the Urban Decay Lush Lash System. And this is not the mascara. The mascara has these in it. But anyways, this is, the one end is the uh, Lash Serum. And it has just a little brush on it. And you put that on at night. And then the other end is a Lash Conditioner, I believe. And, I mean, it's just like that. And, you, like I said, you put these both on at night. And I believe there was something about a mineral makeup because I have one mineral makeup in here. Um, the only mineral makeup that I actually have is in this little thingamabopper. I got this for a trip we went to in Colorado. A couple, I don't know. Anyways, but it's just like a little roll-up like that. And it just locks in place, twists, and then you just buff it into your face and then... Whenever, I, if I ever want to refill it with more foundation, then this bottom part just pops right off. And I just put my foundation in there. And then just twist right back on. And it's really awesome because I can just pop the lid on it. And this actually just stays in my travel bag anymore. But I think that's all I have. So if anybody wants to do this, then I tag anybody that watches it. So, alright, well, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.